all saw the meltdown of Uber last year. Um, and I think that's representative of a lot of uh, what's happening at companies large and small. And what we uh, suffer from in Canada is actually not having enough data around it. So we look at all of this data and all this research that is primarily for United States-based companies, and that gives us somehow anecdotal opportunity to say, well, we're doing much better. See, we don't have an Uber-like scandal in Canada. But I think that's a bit of a cop-out because diversity right now is really hot. You and I have talked about that before. It's like this really hot topic and like having women in your company is like, is cool. Sure. So every, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like hip, so you should do it kind of thing. Yep. Um, but I think uh, overall, we're seeing, we're seeing cultures, so workplace cultures, that are uh, discouraging women from being in the positions that they maybe want to be in. So um, we talk a lot about getting women in STEM, so getting women programming, getting them in programming jobs. Well, once they're in programming jobs, I've, I've been in companies in Canada where we have these programming teams that are you know, maybe one or two short of a, of a frat house. And it's difficult. It's difficult for women to be in those spaces. And that's when I think numbers are really important. Because what I noticed is my chief technology officer is a woman. And I had 50% more female applicants um, applying for jobs at my company because of her. And I think that that actually matters a lot. So we can do a lot to build that culture in place. But where we are now, I think we like to pat ourselves on the back. But we don't have any data support that we're doing any better than our neighbors. If you do have an executive team of all men, which is often the case, it's hard for someone, typically a woman or typically someone who identifies as a minority, to open up that conversation because they're not part of that group. And so, you know, you're assigned this like role in the lower rungs of the company and you're expected to sort of manage upwards. And that's hard. It's a challenge. Um, it's, I think, um, also understanding, you know, it's, it's fine for us to say it and it's fine for us to say that diversity or different cultures are better for business. But historically, when we look at it, um, you know, both investors and um, business owners are looking at examples um, that have worked in the past. And the examples that they're pointing at is Mark Zuckerberg hiring a bunch of his guy friends and then later bringing in Sheryl Sandberg to like clean up the mess. <laughs> you know, and then we're looking at Evan Spiegel who like made Snapchat for all the wrong reasons and then bringing in like a marketing team to like put a better spin on it. And that's what historically we've seen. So both investors and startup owners in my world are thinking, well, I just want to be the next Mark Zuckerberg. And I think what we really need is this like big, so I think Katrina Lake from Stitch Fix is a really great example of this, who her company just IPO'd um, and is doing really well and she's a female CEO um, and founder of her own company. I think those types of examples, as m the more we get them, the more that conversation becomes easier because otherwise there's very few um, examples that, that people like me uh, can point to in companies and say, well, how about that? That worked. Would you be willing to try something like that? Because we focus too much on only hard skills. We're like, can you program? Can you write a thousand lines of code in a minute? Then we'll hire you. If not, like you're out. We've gotten ourselves in a rut where we have no soft skills to speak of. And so we don't think HR is important. We don't think communication is important. And you can see how any company will crumble um, if we don't have things like that in place. So I would love if we could sort of invite people from other areas that aren't traditionally STEM to come work in STEM, because soon enough, everything is going to be a technology company.